What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. Oh, man. Hey, I reacted to the Premier League stadiums last week, and to say that I got some negative connotation feedback is an understatement. I done lost subscribers. Everybody in the comments on my head, Bronco, you had a nasty attitude. This video, Bronco, these stadiums are old, bro. They older than the NFL itself. Bronco, it's all about the atmosphere, bro. It's not about how many people in the stadium. Bronco, them stadiums in the NFL is sold. This, you ain't got no atmosphere. I mean, well, well, because of the stadiums is old, I mean, that ain't my problem. I'm just observing it from, 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 from naked eye, from base level view. You know what I'm saying? When somebody, say somebody don't know nothing about football and they just look at the stadium, they don't give a goddamn how old the stadium is. They gonna say if the stadium look good or if it doesn't. And a lot of the Premier League stadiums didn't look good to me. That's just what it is. I'm sorry, y'all. So I heard La Liga got that heat, though. I heard that La Liga got that, they got the heat. Hey. As an NFL fan, bro, you already know. We got a lot of beautiful, intriguing-ass stadiums, humongous-ass stadiums over here, man. So it's going to be hard to impress me, like I said in the last video. But this time, I'm going to actually lower my standards a little bit and, and just look at it at a face value for what it is without comparing them to NFL stadiums. And and just got to realize, like I told me, a lot of these stadiums are old, older than the NFL, as y'all say. So, hey, I just got to take it how it is, man. But let's see what goes down. Spain's top tier football competition and Let's try this again. Well, Let's see what goes on. Spain's top tier football competition and features some of the most valuable sports teams in the world. I'm here to see some stadiums. So, as you might expect, there are plenty of incredible stadiums. With that being said, see, he ain't saying incredible for Premier League. You know what I'm saying? Stadiums. Show me some. Off top. Off top, you already know. Hey, off top. Now, this is a goddamn stadium. This is a goddamn stadium, bro. Majestic Barcelona Stadium. Yeah, no. Camp No. With Europe's largest stadium. Capacity 99 goddamn thousand. That is a goddamn stadium, no boy. Presumably familiar to every That's a stadium. It's, it's simple. One of the world's most famous Classic. Bodacious. The is nothing to write home about, but the interior is as imposing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Exterior ain't really all that, but the interior, and I never knew, I never noticed that it was a slant. I thought it was just a regular bowl because I seen the stadium before. I already knew I missed a Barcelona stadium, but that mud has a, had a slant it's though. It's made up of three tiers of wraparound seating, with the top tier tapering off to its lowest point under the stadium's only roof canopy. It's not the most technical. Look at the inside of that damn stadium, stadium boy. League. But certainly one of the most intimidating for the away team. Intimidating as hell. Not far away is RCDE Stadium. A very modern design with plenty of covered seating. Except for the corners which are left open to the elements. Which is rather strange. But it's no big deal to have some uncovered seating in Spain. As we saw with the last one which had barely any. The interior is mainly made up of two tiers of seating. But there that, are some premium it's cool. seats it's cool, bro. in between. It's cool. That's a cool well, thing. It's pretty nice. I also like that there's plenty of space between the roof and the seats. Yeah, that's that's a that's a cool stadium, floor. bro. Not that it needed any more. Athletic so Club Bilbao. It's one of the most visually striking stadium exteriors. They all kind of look like the uh, Chinese it's Olympic building. Hey. Let's say swag. Innovative. Hold on. When was this made? 2013. This is a new stadium. I can tell this is a new stadium. I can tell, bro. That's pretty creative. That have the capability of illuminating at night. Coupled with the location elevated above the river. Makes for a spectacular sight. The inside is a little more typical. But yeah, I'm about to say. Nice. For, compared to the outside, the inside is kind of. It shares eh. a lot of similarities yeah, with Emirates Stadium and Estadio de Luz. Yeah, I like that stadium. It's one of the few stadiums that was so good, the team started playing in it before it was even finished. <laughs> Damn. They could have kept it like that. I like that view. Cadiz. Ain't nothing right home about. The first thing you might notice is the spectacular beachside location. It's actually located on what is only a thin strip of land away from being an island. It's oh, I'm about to say, them boys on an island. Especially with all that glass on the exterior. Like a lot of stadiums in Europe, it's confined to a small space between roads. But it makes the most of the land it has with the seating being very steep. Which I'm a big fan of. And the 
There's plenty of that in Spain. I hate steep seats, bro. That that is so scary walking up steep ass steps, knowing that if you fall back, you basically over with. You know what I'm saying? You over with if you fall back and trip or something. I hate steep seats on the stadium. I like the way that I like the look of this LT stadium. It low key looks like an NFL stadium. I ain't even gonna lie. It's a little more rudimentary with its bare concrete exterior and symmetric. Outside is ugly as hell. Outside it's ugly, but I like the inside. Is having hosted the biggest ever World Cup win when Hungary defeated El Salvador 10-1 in 1982. Damn. They really were hungry. It's not a <laughs> stadium, just not very unique. Yeah, but it's pretty by funny. the semi-arid looking landscape, this looks like a place where you would want a completely uncovered stadium to soak up the sun. It's the same reason Ireland has so many uncovered stadiums. To soak up this. <laughs> okay, good taffy. Okay, I like this stadium, bro. This whole, this whole unique. What is it? Ninety eight. This, that's real sleek. I like that Being little sleek look, bro. A major highway and I like that. That's unique, fool. It's certainly not the most serene location. And with but it's by a highway. I'd imagine you'd just be hearing cars pass by throughout the match. Right. But location aside, the design looks solid. Yeah, the design I cool, like bro. How half of it appears to be sculpted into the earth, and the other half is fully above ground. Yeah, there's one with nature. Yeah, that's a stadium with nature. Somewhat unique. I like the uniqueness, bro. Y'all get some swag points for that. Estadio Nuevo Los Camenes. Don't know, buddy. This too is a pretty unique design. I don't you know, buddy. You see it straight away, but if you look closely, the corners have been left empty. Yeah, I see how so the corners... see outside the stadium. Maybe because, okay. maybe because I don't see that the, the field isn't fully filled in, That's bro. That's not that unusual. But these sections can actually be filled with temporary seating. Which is a really cool feature. Inside is all right. I'm not sure why they didn't just build the seats there in the first place, but still. Other than that, it's a fairly typical Spanish football stadium. Ooh, Atletico! Atletico! I like this stadium. The stadium had a very funky design. Ew. It was known as the Cone. But the stadium you see today is a completely new stadium. Look like a wind turbine. Purposes. Although, as you can see... They have incorporated the old design into the new one. I like that. I'm also a fan of the roof. Yeah, the roof the is the highlight. The, undulates. the roof is the highlight the of the stadium. The interior is just as spectacular. It's very modern, but it has enough uniqueness to set it apart. Bro, the other modern this is tough. Stadiums. This Atletico Madrid is tough. This, this is Atletico Stadium is tough, bro. Vallecas. Eh. Speaking of Atletico Madrid, this was actually their home ground for a few years. After the Spanish Civil War. Damn. Old as hell. When y'all say old, I know y'all mean old. Just the wall on the other. You don't see that too often. But as you can see, even a few rows of seating would struggle to fit. But it does leave those living in these apartments with an excellent view of the They field. got a super duper view. It's a rustic old football ground that's far from being state of the art, but it's not too bad. It Look at those trees in a way. You have to keep asking your neighbor to throw the ball back though. Real Madrid? Alfredo Di Stefano. This, this is... is where Real Madrid played most of their matches last year. But I'm... Why? I'm not sure whether or not they would remain here if maximum capacity crowds are allowed. Oh, I okay. Think it might be a tad small. I'd imagine the matches will be held at the Metropolitano. So Real Madrid don't got their own stadium? Did they, I'm assuming they switched to that stadium, the other stadium, because of COVID. As you are Why are they in that stadium? The iconic Santiago oh, Santiago. that went. Oh, yeah. That is a stadium, boy. Hey, you, you, you pull up, pull up in a team bus. You look at that hole. Oh, snap. Heart start beating. You get what I'm saying? You get nervous for the game. You ain't nervous till you pull up, see that stadium. Now you got the bubble goods. Oh, my mama, this one of these stadiums. Like, oh, it's coming. Hey, game time is appearing, bro. It's undergoing a major renovation that will transform it into something that's completely unrecognizable. It Whoa! It will look like a stadium from the outside. Whoa! With stainless steel exterior, it will look more like a giant kitchen appliance. Whoa! But I don't like that. I'm sorry. Real Madrid? I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Y'all trying y'all trying too hard to be different and innovative now. I don't like that one. Once mm -hmm. complete, it will undoubtedly be Europe's Indubitably. stadium. Hey.
Now, now the inside, now that's tough. That's tough, but the outside, mm -mm, undubitably ugly. And Spain's undubitably. Stadium with a retractable roof. It's not expected to be finished until late 2022, but I look forward to it. Yeah, that's tough, but inside tough, outside, eh. Visit Mallorca that whole look like the Rose Bowl in California. Clearly they've been bought out by the Mallorca Tourist Board. Disappointing. I know a lot of stadiums have corporate names, but Visit Mallorca Stadium does not roll off the tongue. I'm quite disappointed that they sold out. Anyway, if you're not aware, Mallorca is an island off the coast of Spain. Oh, okay. Oh, and there's island. so much to do, so much to see. Mallorca is the place to be. Bring all your money. Yeah, I sold out too. But that's 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 completely. Oh, this is a tourist destination. You can tell just by looking at it that it was made for some sort of big event that yeah. involved athletics. Because you got the track fields. The University Aid, to be specific. That's right, the University Aid, that famous sporting event that is definitely worth building a stadium for. <laughs> but no, I'm I can sure tell he's being sarcastic. Events. And the stadium's not bad either. It's just not really fit for purpose in more ways than one. Visit Mallorca now. Do it now. Oh, so soon, it's fresh off a major expansion and renovation that was completed just last year. If you compare the current stadium to what it used to look like, you can see that Every the main stadium. stand has stayed roughly the same. But the three small Ooh, stands I like them seats. level more or less. I like them seats. It looked perfectly fine beforehand, but it's looking incredible now. Yeah, I like it. Well That's done. pretty, bro. That's pretty. That's well done. Good job, y'all. Whoa, so said that. Y'all coming like that? It's another one coming off. Y'all coming like that? But this was a few years ago. It completely transformed it from an okay stadium. Y'all coming to like that? Field into the far superior rectangular stadium that we see today. It looks absolutely stunning. Hey. Both inside and out. Salsa Day got this. Let's compare it with their bus country rivals. I think the exterior falls just short. Hey. But the interior might be even better. Salsa Day got them a stadium, bro. But it's always going to be difficult to top San Mamis. Who is San Mamis? Real B.I. Real Betis, I mean. It shares a similar design to Martinez. They Clear, I. Which I said didn't have anything that says to depart. Well, this one definitely does. For starters, it has three tiers. Hey, I like that design. Two. But you'll notice the rather striking design on the seating. Mm-hmm, I like That's that. That's not something you see every day. Pretty cool. It was actually only a recent addition. In fact, this is what it looked like six or seven years ago. Those green seats as well. They look That great. looks good it from the inside, the bro. green stadium in the world. Comment below if there's another one that's bigger. Who is that? Ah, of course. Twickenham. And just Sevilla. a few kilometers away is a Stadio Ramon Sanchez fifth one. It's a stadium inside. that looks rather similar. Like, really similar. If I change it to green, it will look more or less the same. Except it's a little smaller and has just two tiers of seating. Something else that sets it apart is this beautiful mosaic on the western side of the stadium. Uh, but yeah, it's just so similar that I can't say much else. I yeah, guess the cool, exterior bro. does look slightly better, and it is a continuous bowl rather than having a detached main I like that glass. shape, that little rounded uh, square. That's cool, bro. Estadio Ciutat de la Vencia. Hey, What's it's like these it's cool stadiums, so bro. It's a very similar design. And it's similar. Yeah, I was just about to say, it's similar to the Sociedad in that previous one. But wait a minute. They've just recently upgraded the facility, and it now includes a wraparound roof canopy that covers some of the seats. This upgrade has made the world of difference. So it goes to show, if you're not too happy with the way your house looks, an investment as little as 30 million euros goes a long At way. And that rounded roof. And just a couple of clicks away Valencia? is the Stadio Damn, a lot, all these stadiums got that look. You get what I'm saying? That one little section with that roof over it? Is that where the VIPs and stuff be? Valencia have infamously been constructing a brand new <laughs> stadium for 14 years. Yes, you heard that right. As you can see, they got a fair way... That whole looked like a crown. The global financial crisis came along, which hit Spain very hard. So it just sits there now, 
collecting dust. Damn, they Funko Pops. They not building it no more. There is a silver lining. It means that this extraordinary stadium will stick around. Damn, if the incredibly that's tough, steep bro. stands on enough, then the huge depiction of a bat should be enough. Yeah, to I ain't gonna lie, that's tough, bro. La Liga got some tough stadiums. It is actually the oldest stadium in the league. It looks so old. I ain't gonna lie. It looks old. Some issues that warranted a new stadium to be built. And of course, there are the lawsuits that Batman filed in the early 2000s. Swear to Bob, Batman filed a lawsuit. DC filed a lawsuit against these boys. A banca Baledos. Bro, La Liga got some cool stadiums. It's undergone some major renovations in recent years. I think you can probably tell just by looking at it which sections have had work done. I am, of course, talking about those areas covered in the metallic blue facade. Faca the that's what you call it, a facade? And it will eventually look like this. So, it's quite similar to Real mm -hmm. Arena. I was just about to say, it looks similar to a lot of other stadiums. Rectangular. Even in its partially finished state, I think it looks pretty good. And that metallic finish is quite distinctive. Estadio de la Ceramica. Villarreal! Maybe it's just the steep blue and yellow seats, but it reminds me a little of La Bombonera in Buenos Aires. La Bombonera. Which is certainly no bad thing. That, that first one looked better than that one. it does have its own unique I don't know. aspects I don't... that set it apart. I don't really Such like this, this section. That just I like, I like, up. yeah, I was about to say, I like that, that uh, stadium on the far left. Well, the section on the far left that goes all the way up like that. Vertigo. But yeah, it's an interesting stadium, this one. I quite like it. A lot of these stadiums look the same, Sorry bro. Sorry to the Spanish people watching, that was a pretty bad pronunciation. But if you've watched this far, you're probably used to it. It's a bit of a change up from all the others we've seen in this league. It's like many that you see further north in Europe. With its compact design and a roof covering every seat in the house, basically. They did plan on expanding the facility in 2020. Then the pandemic struck and it had to be delayed. Pandemic messed up everything, this is what boy. It's set to turn into. Hey, that's tough. As now that's unique. See, the renovation won't make the stadium unrecognizable like Real Madrid's. That's unique. But it certainly will be a major change. That's unique right there. And those were La Liga 2021-22 stadiums. Okay, La Liga. If you enjoyed the video, please consider Okay, La Liga. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. La Liga has some nice looking stadiums, bro. A lot of them was real, real similar. Barcelona... This whole, that, that Barcelona stadium is so tough to me, bro. This stadium is so tough to me, bro. Like, it's so damn big. It's so damn, oh, man, bro. I like this stadium with the little, little facade right there. You know what I'm saying? And that Real Madrid, the new Real Madrid stadium. I don't, I don't think I like that one. The exterior still. This one, I don't, I don't think I like that, bro. I don't like that Real Madrid. I like y'all first stadium that y'all have. But, hey, I ain't gonna lie, La Liga stadiums look way better than the Premier League stadiums. I ain't even gonna sit here and hold you. But, hey, y'all already know, as y'all know, in my personal opinion, none of these stadiums mess with them NFL stadiums. Baby, come on now. Like, comment, subscribe, comment, and I'll you next time out.